What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 legendary item guide for you guys. And this time we're taking a look at the Skek Seal, which is a pistol manufactured by the Children of the Vault. The version I've got is called the Chemic Bruzen Skek Seal, but that can change depending on the parts that this gun spawns with. The red text reads, Get back, spithead, which is a quote from the Dark Crystal. Get back, spithead! The gun's name itself seems to be derived from the Skeksis, which are vulture-looking bird-beast things from the Dark Crystal. They're gross, and they gave me nightmares as a kid, so... With Borderlands 3 being so new, I don't really yet know what this prefix is, what it does, and what prefix you should shoot for when you farm for this thing, but I can tell you that the one that I got was killing armored targets with ease, and even made short work of fleshy targets too, even though they were 5 levels higher than the gun was. The level 8 stats on this gun are 16 damage, 64% accuracy, 58% handling, 3 second repair time, which is essentially the children of the vault's way of reloading your weapon. In the case of this gun, when it overheats, you spray it with a water gun, which is hilariously awesome in my opinion. 14.55 fire rate per second and 64 shots to break, which again is specific to the children of the vault weapons. This just means that after 64 shots, you're going to spend 3 seconds repairing the gun. That's the long and short of that. Additional stats are 26% weapon damage, 10% critical hit damage, and 15% weapon fire rate. So what does this gun do? It melts on level and even slightly higher level than you enemies with ease. It can actually spawn in multiple elements for what that's worth as well. It fires a burst of bullets with a slight delay between bursts, slowing the time to kill marginally, but it's not really that noticeable. So how do you get this gun? The Skeksil is a rare drop from Scrack in Ascension Bluff. You can actually encounter this enemy on your first time through the game, and they do spawn 100% of the time. From the spawn point, you want to follow the route that I take to get to this enemy. It's a fast run, and each attempt should take you less than a minute, give or take, depending on the gear that you're using. Now, like Lavender Crawley, this one is one of the Hammerlock big game hunt enemies, which is a side challenge in many of the areas of this game. It only took me about 8 tries to get this specific drop, so obviously this is a guess, but I would say it's likely about a 10% drop rate. Scrack flies around a lot and is a pain in the butt to kill with slow projectile weapons, so be sure that you take something that will work well here. If you have something that's a fire weapon with high fire rate, you should be absolutely solid on this kill. So, is this gun worth getting? Yeah, absolutely. On normal mode and right near the beginning of the game, this weapon can be a massive help to you. Is it the best gun in the game? Nah, not by a long shot, but it's easily worth spending an extra 15 to 30 minutes to farm for one of these. And if you can get a fire one early on, then you're going to be set for most of the enemies that you're going to encounter for the next few levels. So there you have it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Skeksil. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, tap that bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, y'all take care.